I've got the evidence for my upbringing. I've got the evidence to come out of my situation. Because if I praise him, he's got to move for me. If I praise him, he's got to work for me. If I praise him, he's got to open doors that's been closed in my face. I got it now. When we praise him for mercy's sake, his mercy is prolonged on my behalf. I got it now. When misery is attacking me, praise will end my misery. Say yes. I got it now. When loneliness is overwhelming me, praise is my comfort. Is there anybody here that is willing to praise him? Praise him before he works it out. Praise him because you know he's able to bring you out. God is going to do a new thing. He ain't going to do it the way he's always done it. Look for it. Expect things to change. Expect things to be different. I've gone through long enough and bad things have happened. But I've got a level of expectation that God is about to break some things loose. Say yes. God is about to shake some things up. Say yes. God is about to move some things. For he dwells. I said he dwells. He dwells. In a new way. In the midst of my praise. Some of y'all will catch that when you get home. I'm going to say it again. I said he dwells in a new way. In the midst of my praise because while I'm praising him he's working it out on my behalf wow I'm blessing him he's working it out for my good say yes say yes say yes Grab somebody by the hand and tell him he dwells in a new way in my praise. So excuse me if I have to give him praise right now because whenever I praise him, things begin to happen. Yes! Yes! He dwells in a new way in my praise. My praise has become my weapon. I said my praise has become my weapon. When the enemy comes against me, I praise him. Because I understand now, Pastor, that most of the time when the enemy comes against me, he's not after me, he's after my praise. So I praise him when I feel like it. I praise him when I don't feel like it. Because he dwells in a new way in the midst of my praise grab somebody and say excuse me while I praise him because 
because the word says them that the Lord has formed for himself. The word says they shall show forth my praise. You can I can't help I can't help but praise him because he formed me for himself. I can't help but bless him because he formed me. For myself. And God is doing a new thing. Who would have thought that God would take a crack smoking, Hennessy drinking, midnight rambling, cussing, Negro like me, pick him up, dust him off, fix him up. God said I formed him for my good pleasure. He didn't do it for me. He did it for his own, own good pleasure. And I can't help but praise him. I can't help but give him glory. I got one more. I got one more. And I'm going to take my seat. Because we have to learn and develop a spirit of expectation. God has already said that he has chosen you. And that he has formed you for him own self. And that you shall show forth the praise because he is going to do a new thing all you got to do tonight is declare in your heart not concerned about who's sitting beside you or who's standing beside you or what they even think about you you ought to determine in your heart that this praise that I'm about to give him now 
is for my expectation. This one, it's for my expectation. It ain't for nothing else. I expect some stuff. This praise is for my expectation. Ah! 